Guys, it really looks like Ubisoft wants to squeeze the last penny out of us. We have a Helix store sale this week with up to 60% discount on all the items. So I thought I had to make a video so that you not fall into the trap that you buy all this useless crap which is in the Helix store. Because most of these items are just rubbish. There are much better items in the game and even epic items are better anyway than all the legendary stuff here. So I will only show you the real diamonds which are here in the store which are really worth getting and then you can of course ignore the rest. That's not a shopping guide. You can of course get better epic items in the game but at least some of these items are really good and if you don't want to grind for epics then you can safely get them. First of all, if you only focus on gameplay, then you should not get any of the cosmetic items. The cosmetic items are mostly under the ship menu with the different ship designs, the figureheads, the crew themes. All these are totally cosmetic, so that does not enhance your gameplay at all. Except for the lieutenants, but there are much better lieutenants in the game already. So there's only a few lieutenants which are worth it. We will come back to that later. And you should also not get any of the gear packs, because the gear packs also contain a mount which which is useless because it is also only a cosmetic mount. There are no stats on your horse and therefore you should avoid getting any of these packs. That is a waste of your helix credit. So focus on your gear and on the gear packs and weapons alone. That's what you should get if you want to get anything at all in the game. As you already know from the beginner's guide and from many of my videos, legendary sets have less engravings than epic sets and most of them have a very questionable set bonus and a lot of bad engravings on them. The best of them, however, is the Nemean Lion set. The Nemean Lion set is by far the best legendary set in the game. It is even better than any in-game legendary set because it has a perfect set of warrior damage and critical chance and critical damage engravings. On every item there's at least warrior damage and Aza critical chance or critical damage and you also get a really good set bonus here with 10% crit chance and 50% crit damage while full health. That is one of the best set bonuses you can get. You can get very easily to 100% crit chance at level 55 with this build and when you use a damage conversion with the Nemean Lion set you can make the best legendary warrior, hunter and assassin build by just using the Nemean Lion set because all the other sets are worse than this set. The Nemean Lion set has the highest crit damage from all the legendary sets and it outclasses every other hunter and assassin set as well. So the Nemean Lion set is the best overall legendary set to get. I've made three builds for the best legendary warrior, the best legendary hunter which deals double amount of damage than the Artemis set and the best legendary assassin build which can overrun mercenaries at full health. If you haven't watched them already make sure to check them out. Awesome builds they only use one set which is the Nemean Lion set for each and every playstyle. However if you want to make a level 55 100% crit assassin build that is able to overrun mercenaries then you should think about getting the armor of Dionysos. This armor has only assassin damage and critical damage on all its items so it allows you to engrave fully upgraded critical chance on a lower level on your items. That makes it so valuable it is more valuable on lower levels but it is beaten by the pirate set once you reach level 91 and above. Then we have some sets which contain unique items like the Swings main set. The belt of the Swings is the only item in the game that has 20% crit chance at full health when you fully max it out and the arms of the Swings are the only bracers in the game which have bow charging speed on it. So with the arms of the Swings you can get 100% bow charging speed used in the best 2020 hunter build and in the hyper build and with the belt of the Swings you can compensate the loss of crit chance when you use the arms of the Swings. So these two items fit really well together but sadly you cannot buy them separately. So you either get them from the Oiko store or you have to buy the complete set to get these two items. And of course we have the best weapon in the game now on sale for only 75 helix credits, the Bighorn Bow. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bighorn Bow is the best item in the game because it amplifies your warrior damage by a factor of 1.6. This bow is kind of a bugged item. When we equip it we increase our warrior damage here in this build from 80,000 to be over 125,000 when we reload the screen. That is roughly a factor of 1.6 increase for the left warrior weapon and the game also uses this value as your hunter damage. So that's an insane increase for your hunter damage and a 1.6 times increase for your warrior damage. And what that means is that we deal over 11.5 million damage with the pressure.
credit a shot, even over 8 or 10 million damage of the devastating shot, you can deal massive damage when you use this bow. In a perfect build like the builds on my channel, you can deal millions with only light and heavy attacks and that makes this bow so awesome. It is the best weapon in the game for a reason. It makes it so easy to deal massive amounts of damage that you can sacrifice more engravings to use other stuff like resistances and other things in your build. With the overpower you can deal over 26 million damage when you use this bow. Some other weapons which unlock good engravings are for example the tail on dagger which has a 10% crit chance but minus 50% crit damage. Then the Nemean claw unlocks the 30% damage while full health. That's an alternative to the 100% from the Falk. So if you feel better then use the 30% damage while full health instead of the Falks. Then the harvester of time, a perfect warrior spare with warrior damage, damage spares and critical damage. And then if you want to get any of the lieutenants then I would recommend to get Lucurgos because he has damage while sinking ships, so sinking ships of any type like ramming, like firing arrows or whatever type you want, then you get health refilled on your own ship. And then Artemis because Artemis has firepower when starting conflict and a lot of javelin damage. Of course you can also rely on your luck that any of these items appear in the list at Zargon's shop, but your chances are rather nil that they will ever be there. With only two items per week and hundreds of legendary items in the shop, it's mathematically not possible that we have even seen all the items yet. So you will never get them if you only rely on Zargon's shop, especially not a legendary set because you only get the full set bonus and the full set when you have all the items. So it will never get you all the items, you rather get a discount when you have one or two, but then you rather should get the last pieces from the Helix store and that's your opportunity this week to complete one of your missing pieces to get the last pieces of the sets and I'm also rather tempted to get the last pieces for my sets even though I don't have to get them but just for the completionist approach here I may get the last pieces. So I hope this was at least helpful for some of you so please don't forget to subscribe, leave me a like and see you next time.